so this is our next question that is uh, we have to find x of k for given x of n that is 1 for 0 to n by 2 minus 1 and 0 for n by 2 to n minus 1 so x of k this is the definition uh, so um, as per the definition substituting for this limit the value is 0 so we are left with only n equals to 0 to n by 2 minus 1 and x of n is being replaced by 1 in this limit so we are left with this now to generalize it suppose let's say k equals to 0 so it will be n by 2 for k equals to 0 and now for k what is the remaining value of k k remaining is from 1 to n minus 1 so it is same as like uh, infinite gp so we can write like this So how it is written? It is written like 1 minus a raised to n, it is total number of terms over here are n by 2. So what is a over here? a is nothing but except n, whatever is remaining is whole a. That is, first of all let us write upon 1 minus a. Okay, our total number of terms n are here, n by 2. So this is written. Now what is a over here? Because limit is from n to limit is in n so except this n whatever is remaining this whole thing is our a so 1 minus e raised to minus j 2 pi by n into k and it is the power is being here over here is n by 2 so it is in multiplication with this power so this 2 will get cancelled and this n will get cancelled and in denominator we are left with a only it is nothing but e raised to minus j 2 pi by n into k. So after simplification we are left with j pi times k upon 1 minus e raised to minus j 2 pi by n times k. Clear? So this is for this limit that is 1 to n minus 1. We can further generalize it also that is if we take k as e1 so this term will become 1 for even values of k so 1 minus 1 will be 0 so again this can be splitted as 0 for k is e1 in range of this 1 to n minus 1 and if it is odd then this will become minus 1 so overall it will become plus 1 1 plus 1 that is 2 so we will get 1 2 upon 1 minus e raised to minus j 2 pi by n times k when k is odd or you can do it like that also taking different cases that for what values of k over here we are getting e1 pi okay in this multiplication with j and same as done in uh, previous example you can do like that also so in a numerical type question you can just write up to this and you can leave it or in mcqs you have to be little bit careful so now uh, that's all about examples from next lecture we will see the properties of this uh, twiddle factor first and then later on we will move to the, towards the properties of DFT.